guys welcome back to my channel my name is Nicole and today we are going to do a video I've been wanting to do since I basically made this YouTube channel okay I'm just gonna put it out there we are going to be doing costume videos we're not gonna just do any costume videos we're gonna be doing like DIY slash costumes on a budget and they're not going to be like your typical costume like you would get from like the store like this is something that you could go to like a thrift store and create yourself so we're going to be doing five costumes well it's technically five different costumes but one of them is going to be done six ways so technically six costumes um but anyways uh, let's get into it and it, also I am not going to tell you what I'm going to be before coming out in the costume I want you guys to figure it out especially once I do come in the costume so there's that also I might end up moving the tripod and the ring light to a different area for filming purposes just so you guys can see the outfit better instead of just what you're seeing now. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, can you guys figure out who I am just by this outfit? You guys can't see the pants, but that's okay. They're just dress pants. And I'm pretty sure as you guys can tell, I do have tags still on the stuff. Um, because I wanted to get this video filmed and I didn't feel like you can take it off of anything. Also, I'm going to do a rundown of what everything costs in the end for each thing. So, there's that. So now that you guys have had a couple of minutes, or not a couple of minutes, a little bit of time to figure out who I am, I'm going to tell you. If any of you guys know me, at all have been watching my channel from the beginning you guys know that I like Supernatural I love Supernatural this is a character from Supernatural um, I am Castiel yeah <laughs> oh my god the things I do for content for you guys oh my goodness okay so, as you can see, the tie is not tied because I was a blonde. Don't let this brunette wig fool y'all. I am a blonde, okay? Um, I kept forgetting to look up YouTube videos of how to tie a tie. Um, and so, instead of trying to do that, trying to film this video, I figured I'm just gonna put a clip on it and call it a day. Make it look like it's tied. You know. Yeah. So yeah, I don't have an angel blade. That was like, I thought about that last night before I filmed this video. I'm like, oh, I should really have an angel blade for Cass. But I'm like, that's fine. It's whatever. He doesn't always show it every time we see him. So, you know, it's, yeah. So, what do you guys think? This is an actual, like, trench coat thing. I know you guys can't see very well. I'm gonna try to, like, back up as far as I can so you guys can see the outfit. But yeah, so this is costume number one. And yes, this is a wig. I don't know if I'm wearing it right. This was the best thing I could find to resemble Castiel. I almost said the wrong character name character I was about to say is from a completely different show which I am about to put on next so on to costume number two okay guys costume number two can you guys figure out who I am again I am from another TV show it has to do with supernatural type characters but it's not supernatural um this show is on in the 90s also I'm supposed to be another dude so you know and i don't know if this wig is on properly i also don't have wig caps i thought i did um but apparently i don't 
stuff, some of my hair is sticking out, or if it's not on correctly, that would be why. Also, I'm not very good with putting wigs on, so don't come for me, people, okay? Okay. So, giving y'all long enough. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Spike from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh yeah. I loved that show. And you're probably thinking, oh, Nicole, why did you do Spike instead of Buffy? I'm going to tell you why. Just like I'm going to tell you why I did Cass because I forgot to tell you guys that. Anyways, so, first Spike. This jacket here, I got a couple years ago-ish. Um, my mom got it for me because I saw it when we were at thrift store. And I was like, oh, Mom, this trench coat would look awesome as Spike. I found Spike's jacket. And she's like, you want it? I'm like, oh, yes, please. And she got it for me. First time I've worn it since. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Castiel, while we're on the topic of that, same thing happened with Castiel. I was thrifting, and I found that trench coat that worked for Castiel. Bought it before I could even film the, before I even was able to film the videos for costumes like I am now and so because I already had that and I already had this it was two people on my list I was gonna do this year for starting so next year you never know who I'm gonna be so anyways yeah so I am Spike and this is more blonde than bleach blonde and I know it's not slicked back like Spike I will at the end or during each one I might try to put up a picture of what each character is of what they're supposed to look like that way you guys have an idea also for most of the season for most of the series Spike had black nails um, but I didn't get around to painting my nails so they're not black so there's that also I'm not doing the vampire aspect because of well I need prosthetics and things and that's just too much effort and yeah so I'm doing like the human looking part of Spike because their faces and Buffy more if you guys ever watch it so um so yeah so on to costume number three now costume number three and number four are going to be two different variations of what you could do for that costume so I'm going to do the more DIY version first, and then we'll do the easier version second. Okay. Guys, I forgot to go all the way to the back to show you guys what it looked like from afar. I'm sorry. So this is what I look like. Don't mind the white undershirt I have it on from the last costume from Ms. Castiel. Um, just because the white shirt was see-through. Um, once in a while, too, I forgot to mention once in a while, sometimes Spike does wear not only black tank top, but he also wears, or like a black shirt, but he also wears like a red dress-up shirt like underneath and leaves it unbuttoned. So, you know, there's like the black shirt, parts of the red shirt, and then the trench coat. So, this is Spike, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah. Okay, now on to costume number three and four. Okay guys, costume number three. You guys can probably figure it out by this lovely, lovely tie. Probably can figure it out. And this wand. I am a Harry Potter student. And this is what it looks like from afar. I did not tuck in this shirt, kind of like Castiel, even though I should have, but whatever. I'm changing out of them in like two minutes anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Anyways, so again, I did not know how to tie the tie, so I used a barrette, you know. And I am a Gryffindor, so Gryffindor tie, obviously. This was one of the mystery ones from a video me and my cousin Angela did, so if you guys have not seen it already, go check that out. This is, this is, um, Sirius Black's wand. So, 
I don't know if you guys can see that. So I used his because I don't remember if he was a Gryffindor, but it was either this or my giant plastic Hermione wand, and this looked more realistic. Um, or I could have used my Nuffy, uh, my um, Mrs. Lucius Malfoy, you know, Draco's mother's wand, but I'm not a Death Eater, and she definitely wasn't Gryffindor. So I figured this was the safest option because A, it looked more like a realistic wand, and yeah. So anyways, so this, um, cardigan. You don't have to wear the cardigan. It's supposed to be like the hood of the cloak that they wore. You don't have to wear that because sometimes, if you watch the movie, sometimes they're not always wearing their cloaks. They're just wearing their shirt and stuff. And I'm wearing pants because I'm a rebel, okay? I never said if I was a boy or a girl. So... I mean, in real life, I'm a girl, but like character wise, I never said who I was. So I'm just a random Hogwarts student. So, also, my battery's about to die, so let me switch that out and yeah. Okay, we are back, and also um, a couple other things. So, the tie I had gotten, it's an actual Gryffindor tie. I got this from Spirit Halloween. Um, along with all the wigs you're seeing in this video are also from Spirit Halloween. Um, but when I was at Spirit Halloween, they also have some other Harry Potter stuff. Um, Hot Topic has Harry Potter stuff as well for specific houses. Um, so you can get, I know it's Spirit Halloween. The past couple, the only couple times that I've been there, which is like three or four times, I've only ever seen them have like the house sweaters. Um, and they only ever had the Gryffindor and Slytherin, so I don't know if they have the other houses or if that's something you would have to get online. Um, at one point they had a Gryffindor blazer jacket. Um, also they do have the actual, like, Harry Potter, like, Hogwarts student cloaks and, like, a full costume like that. They do have the ties. Um, the ties would be over by like the kids area. Um, and yeah. And obviously, you know, um, Hot Topic has stuff too, but their stuff usually always changes, so I can't exactly tell you what they have. Um, so that would be something you would have to like look online or go to your nearest Hot Topic to look at as well. Um, obviously, I am aware that if you were to do stuff from Hot Topic, it is going to be a little more expensive, um, but yeah. Um, pants, I am also just wearing the black jeans that I wore as um, Spike. You could wear like nice dress up pants, like, like you know, like from the men's department, um, which I do own. I wore those as Castillo, so. If you're wondering why I had those, it was for a play I did for RCS. I was the radio person in Annie. So, um, I had to wear, I had to look like a man for that scene. So, I had men's dress up pants. So, yeah. <laughs> um, and then obviously, I think too, Spirit Halloween has the glasses as well. If I remember correctly, I don't remember. Um, and they do have a couple wands, mostly like Harry Potter, like Harry's wand, um, as well. So that gives you a couple of other options. Otherwise, you can just be like me and just thrift it. Obviously, this was the only thing that wasn't thrifted for this costume or this. <laughs> but um, and also this um, sweater that I'm using as my cloak. I used this as a Harry Potter student for a book review thing in school when I was in middle school and I loved it and I still have it so um so yeah so now I'm gonna go on to variation number um two which is gonna be the fourth costume um which is gonna be another like Hogwarts student but like another way of how you can do it so yeah oh and also I don't know if I already did this already <laughs> before I forget <laughs> So this is what I look like. So, yeah. 
on to costume number four. Okay guys, so this is the second variation. I'm wearing a onesie. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it comes with the cape. And the, the, the thing. Um, so I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, and I have the wand with me because, you know, every wizard needs to have their wand. Um, so yeah, so I don't know if I had this, um, onesie during my onesie haul. I will have that linked up here somewhere. Um, I will also have the wand video linked in the other, during the other costume. Um, but yeah, so this is a onesie. I already had this in my closet and when I was doing the DIY part of it, I was like, oh yeah, I have a onesie. I'm like, oh, I could do two variations of this. So, um, I got this from Walmart. Um, they didn't really have any other houses. Um, usually, I feel like Gryffindor is like the most famous house for merch, unfortunately, which is sad because there's four houses. They shall be tre treated equally, but I'm pretty sure you can find this on like Amazon. You can probably find this on the Walmart website when it comes to being Christmas time because that's usually when they have their onesies out. Um, there's probably a onesie website as well, um, but most likely definitely Amazon, which again, this isn't going to be cheap, um, it'll probably be about $20, $15.20, not including tax and shipping, um, so if you're on a budget, I would suggest doing the thrifting of it and doing it that way, and then maybe just spend the little extra money on the tie for the house that you want. So, and yeah. And the really cool thing is too, obviously for these, if you guys do like the mystery wands, you could just use your mystery wands. Or again, Spirit Halloween has wands. They don't have a huge selection. It's mostly Harry's wand. But again, you know, it's something, you know. So, yeah. So, on to the next costume. Okay, can anybody figure out what my next costume is? I do have um, three different like scarves because this person is very known for wearing scarves. Um, once in a while he wears it in his hair like a headband. Once in a while he'll wear it like on his wrist or around his neck or whatever or have it like dangling in his like back pocket or something um this is a character stony played by polly shore polly shore if you're watching this i'm sorry if i offended you with your hair but this is the closest thing i could find to your hair as beard halloween okay i'm sorry okay um Stoney is from Encino Man. If you guys have not seen it, you guys should. If you haven't seen any of Polly Shore's movies from the 90s, you definitely should go check them out because they are freaking hilarious. I love them. I love Polly Shore. I love Crawl. I love Stoney. I love, I just love them all. So, yeah. Those were his characters from, yeah. Um, he also has like a couple other characters, but I don't remember their names. <laughs> so, yeah. So, this is it. So the pants were already mine, the shirt, this shirt was already mine, so I just bought this, thrifted this, and thrifted the three scarves. So um, I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, I have flary pants on. Again, I will have a picture of Castiel, Spike, and Stony from Encino Man. So you guys know what they look like. I might have a couple different outfits for like a couple different pictures of Stony from Encino Man just so you guys get an idea of like the broad spectrum of like how Polly Shore dressed in the 90s. Um, so yeah, so I do have one more costume that I need to do. I am not filming that today. I will be filming that another day. Um, because Zach will be coming and doing my makeup for it. It is going to be the best costume out of all of them. 
than my most favorite one yet. I mean, I love all of these costumes, let's be real. Um, I love all of them. And so, yeah, so stay tuned for the final costume. Hey guys, I'm in my fourth costume. Can anybody figure out who I am in my DIY costume on a budget? I'm Evil Audrey. Um, I'm Evil Audrey, and this is my stack that I made in a previous video. So if you guys not have checked that out, please check it out. It shows you how I made it. I also got this from Pinterest, so there's that. Um, but I'm wearing a pink dress, as you guys can see. Um, I got this from Kohl's, and then this lace cape I already had. I already owned that. The wig was the closest thing I could find to Spirit Halloween as Evil Audrey. And then the crown I ordered online and all my accessories I already had. And then of course my makeup is did by the one and only Zachary. Or I like to call them Zachary Banks. Which, not trying to copyright, but you know, anyways. So yeah, so this is my fourth outfit. Do you think like it? I love it. I love it so much. So yeah, so go to the outro. Okay guys, so that was all six costumes, technically five costumes, but one was done two different ways, so I'm counting it as six. Anyways, um, one thing I forgot, there's a couple things with Audrey that I forgot to mention. Um, one, I was still wearing my, my um, legging pants underneath because I was too lazy to take them off. Two, Audrey typically, Audrey normally had like painted nails. Um, I forgot to paint mine, but I'm gonna be dressing her up as her again for Halloween. Um, so I will definitely be making sure that my nails are painted. And no, on Halloween I will not be wearing my legging pants um, either underneath. Those will be off. Um, and obviously the scepter I made myself because it was slightly cheaper-ish, plus it was fun to do. Um, and obviously the dress I got from Kohl's, but that was only because I couldn't find anything in the thrift stores that I liked. And also, Technically, as an adult, you could get the actual, like, Evil Audrey costume on Amazon. Um, but I read some of the reviews. Some of them were saying that the material was still, like, it was too thin or it was, um, like, sized too big or something like that. I don't exactly remember, I and mean, when I tried to go back on there to look today, um, there was nothing available to be shipped here, which is funny because the last time that I looked, when I first noticed there were adult costumes, adult sizes, I w could have bought one and I chose not to, so I don't understand what was up with that, but I'm just, you know. And also, if you know, you know how to sew and use a sewing machine and very serious into cosplaying, you could just make it yourself or if you have, or if you're like, you know, your kid wants to dress up and you're very good with sewing, you could do that as well. Um, so, there is that. And I did make a list of everything price-wise. Um, just so you guys get an idea of how much each one cost. Now keep in mind, there are some things that I already owned that I used as part of these costumes. So Castiel, um, the coat was $8. The tie was $5. The shirt that I used for Castiel and Harry Potter was six dollars. The pants I wore were mine, um, which I got from Kohl's, so technically, you know, they probably would be like somewhere between ten and twenty dollars. 
give or take. I don't remember how much they are. I got them like two, three years ago, somewhere in that area. And then the wig for Castiel was the most expensive for his costume, which was $17. So not counting my pants because I already had them and I've had them for like two, three years now. Um, it came to a total for Castiel, $36. Um, Spike, he was a little more expensive. Um, the jacket, the coat was $15. The pants were $7. The shirt was six. And his wig was $13. So he costed $41 total for me to do. Now again, well, the wig was the second most expensive thing for Spike. Um, but the coat, again, I didn't buy the coat when I was making these costumes and buying everything for them. I previously already had the coat for a couple of years, um, but the price tag was still on it. So I counted it anyways. Um, and again, all of that I got from the thrift store except for the wig. The wig I got from Spirit Halloween. All the wigs that I'm wearing in this video are from Spirit Halloween. Okay guys, so as I'm editing this, I realized that I forgot to write down how much everything for Stony from Encino Man, aka Polly Shore, cost me. So, um, his wig was the most expensive thing. That was $20. The gray shirt that had sleeves cut off, that was $6. And then I had three different scarves. One was $1.50, one was $2, and one was $3. And then... The pants that I wore were mine, and the long sleeve black shirt was already mine. So he came to $32.50. Um, for Harry Potter, for the thrifted, for the first one, um, the shirt again was $6. The pants were $7. The tie was $13. And the cloak, I already, the cloak, which is basically just a sweater that I used was mine which i also got from a thrift store when i needed it way back when <laughs> when i was in middle school um and then the onesie was 15 to 20 dollars i did not include the wand which technically the wand was five dollars so i when i added the math for the harry potter one i did it wrong because i counted the onesie even though what the onesie was by itself um so it came to it came to $31 for the actual like thrifted outfit and then the onesie was like $15, $20. So I I did the math wrong for that one. So um and then Audrey for Audrey there's a couple things I didn't add. I did not add the cloak because that was mine. The any accessories that I was wearing was mine. The boots I did not um, add either. Um, but for boots as well, for shoes, I forgot to mention that before, you could just wear like a nice, like it's, realistically it's all gonna depend on like the dress you wear or if you decide to just wear like pants and a top or a skirt and a top. Um, it's gonna depend on exactly what you're wearing um but you could find pink shoes you could wear black shoes you could wear boots if you just want to wear your tennis shoes that's okay i'm not gonna judge and depending on what you're wearing we might not see the shoes so um so i'm not counting that either in the total for the scepter i am including the scepter in the costume with audrey However, there are a couple items within the scepter that I am not including. Um, one of which I ended up, well, two of which I ended up not using because that step was just way too difficult for me to figure out how to do. Um, if you've watched the scepter video, you will understand what that part is. Um, but I already had craft paint. I already had spray paint, which spray paint I think is like twenty dollars i think i don't remember um and then the plastic wrap i already had hot glue i already had the aluminum foil i already had 
Um, so some of the stuff to make it I already had, so I just had to buy a couple of other things. So, the dress, I don't exactly remember how much it was because it was marked down and then there was still percentage off. And then I got a little more off for like coupons or whatever. So I'm just rounding it to $20. Um, and again, I got that at Kohl's, so obviously it's going to be a little more expensive. The wig was $25. Um, the rod or dowel that I used for the staff was $12, and I got that on Amazon. Um, the paper clay was about $10, give or take. Um, again, I got that on Amazon as well. And the ornament that I've used has an orb at the top of it. I also got from Amazon. That was $5. And anything that I ordered online, I did not count the tax and the shipping. Um, and then the crown was $40. Um, but again, I already had spray paint. I already had craft paint. I already had aluminum foil. And aluminum, aluminum foil you can easily get from the dollar store. Um glue you can easily get from the dollar store the only glue that i realistically had to buy was the glow in the dark glue which i don't remember if the dollar store has it but you can find it at your local craft store walmart target might even have it so it's probably gonna be like five bucks if not less i don't foresee um glow in the dark glue being more than five dollars i also feel like dollar five dollars might be a little too expensive, but I'm just figuring around that ballpark, if not less. So, um, and then I did buy regular glue, but that was for a step that I didn't do that also involved tissue paper, which I didn't do, which tissue paper you can also easily just get from the dollar store. Um, so that's not going to run you too much. Um, so Audrey ended up costing me about $111.34 total. Also, side note, I did not pay for the dress. My mom paid for it. So, you know, I didn't have to pay for that part. But even still, yes, you're thinking, oh my gosh, I could have just bought the costume and bought this. Yes, you could. But... In case it becomes too small, or if they run out, or if they don't have your size, or if it's too thin, or if you just wanted to create it yourself, because odds are, even if you were to order the crown and the outfit, the actual Audrey outfit online, it's probably going to cost you around the same, you know, and if you were to order her accessories as well. I did not buy any of her accessories, like her necklace or the proper gloves. Um, I did not buy any of that for Audrey. Anything that I used for that, I had myself already. So, um, so it might run you about the same after shipping and tax. So, because, you know, it, it's... <laughs> Depends on how you want to do it. I chose to DIY it, um, and I actually liked how my costumes turned out. Stony, aka Polly Shore, that one, um, I wasn't too thrilled with, but you know, it. I think it was the wig that was not working for this outfit but anyways I hope you guys liked this video I hope this helps you with any um Halloween costume ideas um especially with evil Audrey um for like the inspiration and whatnot and um if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if you guys have any other halloween costume suggestions for me to do 
next year or years in the come. Let me know because I'm definitely going to be keeping this type of video going every year. Doing a couple of costumes every year to like, you know, for fun and whatnot. And so if you guys have any suggestions, let me know as well. I do have a huge list of ones that I want to do. Some of which are going to be a little bit more complicated than others. There are some where I don't even know where to begin with creating it. Um, partially because I don't know how to sew. I don't know how to use a sewing machine. I learned how to use a sewing machine in middle school for a class. And then after that, I never used a sewing machine again in my life. Partially because I don't have a sewing machine. But <laughs> that being besides the point, um, you know, so there's that. Um, if you guys are new here, please hit the subscribe button. That would really help me out a lot. Um, and hit the notification bell so you guys get notified whenever I release a new video. And with that, I love you guys. I will see you next time.